How's it going guys? Raz Shifrin here. Thank you so much for your support and love. Yesterday was a crazy day. We just launched Perfect Pass and sold, I think, about 187 units, almost 190 units uh, in 22 hours. So that's pretty amazing. Thank you guys for trusting us and thank you for your support and believing in what we do. Uh, I decided to make a video because I received a lot of questions on YouTube and Messenger and emails about the product and some confusions that people had. Also, some confusions that our test drivers had while trying to install Perfect Pass. Yes, Perfect Pass ships worldwide. Can you connect Perfect Pass with Castle Link or with Quick Connect? Yes, you can. Throttle trim completely zeroed out. Throttle speed, you want it at 100. Just a normal throttle speed, 100, not time delay. EPA, this is very important, guys. To be at 100 in both direction with throttle not 110 not 120 so epa 100 each side throttle trim completely zeroed out throttle speed completely zeroed out or at 100 percent rather which is just normal reaction speed uh sub trim and expo for throttle everything needs to be zeroed out or at 100 percent just like a normal remote if you don't have a fancy remote and you just have a normal Spectrum remote and sorry. I'm just trying to see what my GoPro is seeing you want your throttle trim to be at zero And that's pretty much it. Obviously if you have one of the spectrum remotes that have the uh, Variables here with throttle you want it on all the way high, but uh, most remotes spectrums TQIs fly skies and and etc etc Will have very basic features in them not like the digital remotes So you want the trim throttle trim to be at zero this is how you receive Perfect Pass. It comes just like so. And we're going to install one together. We're going to connect Perfect Pass to channel two in the receiver. Another question while I'm here, people ask me if Perfect Pass is waterproof. No, it's not. We thought about packaging Perfect Pass have a certain heat shrink on it or a box on it or a 3d printed box on it but we wanted to keep perfect pass as lean as we could so it fits most receiver boxes just like your receiver just like your gyros just like everything that goes into a receiver box this is not waterproof this is just like any other receiver or gyro not waterproof and that's why you should put that inside the receiver box if you are driving in an environment that you don't you, it's not gonna get wet yes you can probably position it outside just so you can tweak it but uh, it's small enough and we kept it like that on purpose <clears throat> initially we we thought well we are providing no packaging with it people will might see the product as unfinished but then when we tried packaging we realized that leaving it just the way it is it benefits the consumers the most because then you can just shove it wherever you want you just connect from the receiver channel 2 to perfect pass to the ESC slash or castle link and castle uh, quick connect. Verify pot is all the way left. Pot is very, very gentle, so be careful, okay? All the way counterclockwise, left. We had some people that turn it all the way right. So all the way left, counterclockwise when you recalibrate. That's it. Now you recalibrate your uh, ESC. Now we obviously removed the pinion for the sake of this video. Again, throttle trim to completely zero it out. EPAs to just normal 100 to each side. No 80s, 90s, 110, 120s. Throttle speed, just normal reaction speed. This is with fancy remotes. If you're using a spectrum remote, throttle trim on zero. And then we're going to recalibrate. Guys, pro tip, do not over squeeze the trigger. The problem is that a lot of people, when they recalibrate, they over squeeze the threadle, the, the threadle. Threadle, there's no such thing. The trigger, because uh, they really want to make sure that it's full throttle and whatnot. The problem is that you're showing your ESC a much higher, when you over squeeze, a much higher microsecond input and then once you actually run the car obviously you never squeeze so hard when you run the car in real life scenario you're just squeezing full throttle and you're not reaching that full throttle that you set when you recalibrated you're only seeing 90 95 97 percent throttle so when you recalibrate be very gentle on it okay just full throttle very uneventful now before we begin i'm going to connect the battery 
With the XLX2, obviously I have the benefit of a switch, so I can just connect the battery. But if I didn't have XLX2, if I had XLX1 or different ESCs with no switch, obviously once you connect on a timely matter, you have to recalibrate. So now we're going to recalibrate the ESC. We're gonna start with full throttle. Again, pot all the way counterclockwise to the left. You just have to do it when you recalibrate your perfect pass. Full throttle. Full reverse. Neutral. Wait for confirmation. Beautiful. So now our ESC is recalibrated to our remote and perfect pass is installed. Okay, let's see. Obviously when perfect pass is set all the way counterclockwise to the left, it's almost like perfect pass is not even there. But is this now we're recalibrated. Now we're going to turn off the system. Every time we change time settings on perfect pass, we have to either disconnect or turn off to have no power going to perfect pass. If you guys are using capacitors on your receivers or receiver packs, you have to make sure that your system is completely drained out of power before you change settings or before you turn it back on. Now we're going to actually try and turn perfect pass all the way clockwise to the right. This will actually give us maximum delay. All the way clockwise, all the way to the right. This way, okay? This gives us max delay. And we're going to turn on perfect pass, or the car rather. Now, obviously the entire demonstration receiver box is open, but once you're done with your, th with your uh, recalibration and settings, put everything back together and close your receiver box. So now perfect pass is engaged at 100% and full throttle protection is engaged also. This is a default with perfect pass. Okay, so this is your protection. But once it actually starts, Obviously the motor sounds a little bit funky right now because we don't have a pinion and there's no load. Actually what I'm doing right now is actually not the healthiest thing to do with an 8S configuration. For the sake of this video though, it is what it is. So right now Perfect Pass is engaged at 100% with a default full throttle protection. A lot of you guys ask me, what if I want to ca cancel the full throttle protection? No problem. Turn off your car. You're gonna have to recalibrate Perfect pass, we're going to turn it back all the way counterclockwise, left, for recalibration. Every time you recalibrate perfect pass, it needs to be all the way left. And if you want to eliminate that delay in the beginning, the full throttle protection, there's a very easy way to do it. All you want to do is set your throttle trim, this is the only time that is not zero, to all the way negative. And I'm sorry if I'm not focused, I have no idea what my GoPro is seeing right now, but, but throttle trim all the way negative. In my Futaba 7PX, that will be break 100. So throttle trim all the way negative, and then we recalibrate when pot is fully counterclockwise. Okay, and guys, like we said, I just don't want to forget, you can use Castle Link and Castle Quick Connect with Perfect Pass, no problem. It will read and everything. It will work just, just as it worked with stock configuration. So now we recalibrated Perfect Pass. We still can enjoy the delay and everything, but we don't have full throttle protection, which looks like that. Okay, so if you guys are using Perfect Pass for drag, this is how you cancel full throttle protection, the initial full throttle protection, so you can actually launch 
as fast as you can, okay? Check, check this out. All right, I think I made my point here. And now perfect pass is engaged, recalibrated without the, the uh, full throttle protection. But what if we still want a certain delay? No problem. You turn the power off, like we said, every time we change settings, power is off. If we do have RX packs or any capacitors or glitch busters, you have to wait 10, 20 seconds for power to completely be drained from the unit. The unit will only change settings if it doesn't have power coming to it. And now we're going to go and let's just do it halfway just for fun. So halfway should be like three, four seconds maybe. Okay, we did that, we can turn on the car again. Now after we have done the initial recalibration, we don't have to do it anymore. Now we can just turn it off, change the settings, turn it on, it's done. We're already, the ESC is already recalibrated to our remote. Turning on the unit. If you guys remember, we recalibrated perfect pass when trim is completely to negative and we're gonna keep trim there because perfect pass will do the rest. So we don't have full throttle protection anymore, but we still have the exact delay that we want for our pass. It looks something like that. And obviously, like we said, I didn't count, but it was probably like three, four seconds. We're about halfway through the potentiometer here, the pot, okay? Again, guys, don't pay attention to how the motor sounds. This is a very big block on an 8S configuration. What I'm doing right now is not the healthiest thing. That's why it sounds very finicky. Under load, everything will change. It will be very linear. Another thing that I want you guys to pay attention to, when you pull your castle link, uh, sorry, your data log on your, with your castle link, you might see that the throttle line is not completely 100% linear, it have little steps. The throttle input by perfect pass doesn't have steps. The problem is that the refresh rate with castle creations is either five times a second or 10 times a second, the refresh rate of perfect pass is a lot faster than that. So whenever the refresh rate with castle creations uh, data log or logger rather is sampling the line, this is when you're going to see a little dip. Now it's going to still be a perfect, beautiful line, zero to hundred. And it really depends on the timing of when you guys are actually pressing the throttle based on the refresh rate of perfect pass and the refresh rate of castle if they're synced or not at the same moment, but you might see little dips. You can ignore that, those are not dips, this is just the line going straight, but castle sampling it five times a second, okay? So now we connected perfect pass and this is how we're working with it. You guys probably want to make sure that Perf uh, that castle creation that you did the recalibration process right and castle creations is receiving 100% throttle or any other ESC and I'm sorry that I keep mentioning castle creations because this is the car we're working on but uh, but yes it works with all other ESCs you just have to make sure some ESCs just don't have data log so you can't really see but uh, for the sake of this test we're going to use castle creations I'm just trying to kind of memorize what questions I've had. People told me, hey, what do you think will happen to the record world with speedruns? Is it cheating or not? And no, absolutely not. Uh, normal, big, you know, normal scale cars have been using and enjoying launch controls in many, many drug races, many different races, many YouTube videos and many uh, product debuts. And uh, it's about time that we enjoy the same. Will the car drive itself? No, absolutely not. The car will not drive itself. You still have to drive it. By the way, with perfect pass, you can still have your normal squeeze, but if you have any certain jerk, it's just not going to allow it. Now, just like in real cars that use launch controls in most movies, most YouTube videos, and most drag racing, they use launch control. They actually enjoy the technology and instead of going against it, they're going with the technology. Well, guess what? That's why they're very, very fast and they know what they're doing. They're utilizing their technology to actually become a lot faster. You have to make sure that if you want zero to a hundred, a perfect linear line, which is un, it's just not humanly possible. Yes, go to your run, line a car up and just pin it. The computer or perfect pass will give zero to a hundred, a perfect linear line. You don't have to, you can still drive it normally. If you ask my opinion, it's healthier for your car and for your speed to actually pin it 
when you get, well, not pin it, but smoothly get into it once you are positioned into your speed runs. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again so much for trusting our common sense, both Mike Hoffmeister and myself. I want you guys to know you guys communicate with me a lot on YouTube, on Facebook and whatnot with emails. Behind this brilliant product, there are two people, not just myself, Mike Hoffmeister, a good friend of mine and a brilliant guy and myself. So from both of us, thank you so much for trusting our common sense, seeing that the community purchased and became part of the family and purchased 190 units within 20 hours or 22 hours or whatnot. I think it's beautiful. So thank you very much for trusting us and understanding that this product will actually help you. We're super, super curious to see what's going to happen out there and how people actually enjoy it and, uh, you know, increase their personal best and whatnot. And yes, we are making more. Like I said before, Ozzy from Island Hobby Nut is representing it for us and we chose him to be the distributor. We thought that would be a perfect fit simply because he's dealing with so much drag and speedrun products. And also we trust him. We think he have a good business, a good business model and a good vibe. So that actually worked for us. Guys, I really, really appreciate it. You guys have a beautiful weekend. If you're watching this video on a replay, not throughout the weekend, then also still have a nice weekend, even if it's in three or four days. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys, both from Mike Hoffmeister and myself. Perfect pass. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for trusting us. Can't wait to see what you guys get out of Perfect Pass out there. I cannot wait. Probably in two, three days. Like we said, we just launched Perfect Pass. See you guys.